<laughs> Hello internet, my name is Julia Fernandez. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a design, fashion, and lifestyle content creator here in San Francisco. And today I'm going to be doing a January general favorites video. I've just collected right in front of me super messily. I thought it would be really nice to kind of just give you all a little summary of the different things that I've just been loving this month. The first thing I want to start with is this fabulous sweater. My mom actually actually made this for me for Christmas. I asked if she could actually make me a Mrs. Weasley sweater. <laughs> and it's very specific. But in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, or the Philosopher's Stone, depending on who you are, there's this one scene where Ron is just like, Happy Christmas, Harry! Happy Christmas, Harry! And they're both wearing the sweaters that Mrs. Weasley had made for them. When I visited the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Universal Studios, they obviously only had the H and the R sweaters and not a J sweater. And so I was just like, I want one. My mom, being the overachiever that she is, was able to find a Harry Potter like pattern book of just different things that you can knit that's Harry Potter themed and one of them was the Mrs. Weasley sweater and I was just like I want one that has a J and I also I'm hoping that it can be cropped because I always love wearing cropped stuff and this is what she came up with and I'm like obsessed so many of my friends have been like asking if she could actually make one for them super grateful that I have my new favorite sweater and also happened to be something that I wore at least five times this month because of how obsessed I am with it. It's perfect for San Francisco weather. I feel like it is definitely a warmer sweater, but it's not itchy whatsoever. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's like this just like really nice neutral details in the knit. Thank you to my mom for this. I actually made a reel about this. And also if you want to support my mom, make sure to follow her at sold by Rosette. She is so freaking amazing. I love her so much and I want to make her a knitfluencer so she can get free yarn so make sure to go follow her and support her. My next favorite is actually a hair salon. So my hair is newly cut and I went to a salon called Angie and Martha's on Geary here in San Francisco. I was able to get a full like hair cut like I got probably like three or four inches cut off my hair and it was $50 with tax and that is really reasonable especially here in San Francisco. Angie and Martha's is a shop literally run by two sisters named Angie and Martha, and they're so sweet. It's a super simple salon located on Geary, and I would highly, highly, highly recommend checking them out. I believe Martha cut my hair, and Angie is in charge of all the coloring. I absolutely love my hair. I haven't had like layers in a while, and I was really nervous, to be honest, of getting layers again, um, but still keeping the length, and I absolutely love it. I didn't style my hair at all today. It just kind of it's here, it's here, it's present, and I'm very happy with it, so make sure to go check them out. So with the next round of favorites, I'm gonna go ahead and do some beauty favorites. My first beauty favorite is this long-lasting liquid lipstick from Ofra. This is in the shade Verona. The reason why I found this is because my mom had like a sample pack that she got from Sephora like a while back, and my mom just gave them to me randomly, and I had like the little sample of this, and I just kept using it again and again and again because it was just like a beautiful, natural lip for my skin tone. I'm very, very picky when it comes to lip products because I find like for some reason that I smudge, like my lips smudge a lot. So when I found this and it was staying, I was like super, super happy. And so I got a full size version and I've been wearing this whenever I do wear a nude lip. In addition to that, I've actually been using this as well as an eyeshadow. If you saw my reel on Instagram in the day that I took headshots with my friend Kaylani, I actually used this for my lips and for my eyes for like my no makeup makeup look. Other makeup things that I have been obsessed with are these two Tower 28 products. The first is this Luminous Tinted Bomb and it's called Beach Please Power Hour and it's a buildable luminous color for cheeks and lips tap tap blend. And so this is what it looks like. The color is this really nice kind of like dark mauve. It's almost like a sister to this color. And I love pairing these two things together. I personally like using a brush to kind of like help put it on my cheekbones and then a little bit up here on the temple. I love the look of this because I feel like I was having a hard time getting a blush that was like just enough of a pink red to make it look as natural as my normal blush whenever I get cold or something. 
highly recommend checking out Tower 28. Their brand is super cool and I love their packaging. And then in addition to that, I also was gifted this from my cousin and it's a shine on lip jelly. I personally don't usually like lip gloss. I've always defaulted to like matte lipsticks or like matte liquid lipsticks. It's always been matte for me. And so I was like unsure that I would like this, but this, as you can see, it's on my lips right now. It's just the right amount of shine. It's not overbearing. It doesn't make me feel like I have like three layers of lip gloss on my lips. It's super light. And um, it also has a really nice, like very light flavor to it. That's like not annoying whatsoever. This is in the shade Cashew as well. And again, I feel like these are just like cousins as you can see. So this is literally everything that I have on my face right now. <laughs> that is it for my beauty favorites. The next favorites that I have are books. The first book I don't have right now because I actually borrowed the hard copy from my best friend, Clara. And that is Verity by Colleen Hoover. It has been a while since I've read Leisurely. And this January, I kind of went ham because something that I've been trying to do is just like add reading into my morning and night routine. And so I really took that seriously. I decided to read Verity and oh my gosh, twists and turns. Out Spoiling Anything is about a woman who ends up getting a deal of finishing up the series of another woman who um, got into a medical accident. And so she had to continue to find out all these secrets about the first author and like she's in the same house as her and then spooky things happen. And it's just like, Mm, I read it so fast. It is a romantic fiction novel and I haven't read one of those in a long time. I feel like the last time I read a romantic fiction novel was like Twilight, the Twilight series. No, I'm sure I read something else like in between that, but like I feel like it's been that long. And in addition to Verity, I finished It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. It's another book that I would highly recommend. Again, this is also a romantic fiction novel. It's like just the right amount of spice to like get you going and it's just so good it's so good this is another book where i was just like i remember like finishing the book and going like colleen like this woman is very consistent with her book in my opinion i feel like her books are so well written because like you don't have to even try reading the book. I feel like this is making me sound like I read a lot, but I really don't. That is the goal for this year, but I don't want to make it sound like I'm like suddenly this bookworm because I'm probably going to have like, I don't know, one book favorite next month. <laughs> the next things I'm going to be recommending are a book and a movie. And it is called I'm Thinking of Ending Things. Oh, oh my God. Okay, so I watched the movie first with my friends. I love thrillers. I had an evolution of horror film class in my last semester of school. And after that class, it made me love thrillers even more and like have so much more like, I don't know, respect and love for them. And after I watched, I'm thinking of ending things, I was like, because it was like Shutter Island along with The Shining and then like, and then just made it like an A24 film with those two combined. I feel like that's what you get from I'm thinking of ending things. And I think the reason why I particularly had like a weakness or a soft spot for the movie is that they had this like ongoing theme. They mention and introduce Oklahoma, the musical, and that was the last musical I was in. I played Aunt Eller in senior year of high school, but just knowing the story already and like how they incorporated it, it was just so good. It follows a woman named Lucy and her and her boyfriend are going to basically visit her boyfriend's parents and have dinner with them. When I watched the movie, I already recognized the woman. Her Lucy is played by Jesse Buckley and Jesse Buckley was in The Lost Daughter which is the new movie with Olivia Colman in it. I recognized her immediately. And then also I recognized the guy immediately from Breaking Bad. And so I was like, oh my gosh, we're opening up this film with two people that I absolutely love. And then you meet the parents and literally the dad is played by Professor Lupin. And then also the mom is played by the mom from Hereditary, the A24 movie that I also love that is also a psychological thriller. Ooh. When there is a good cast in a film, I'm so hyped. I'm so pumped. The movie was so thoughtfully made to the point where you want to watch it again because you recognize the, the choices of the screenwriter and the choices of like the production designers and the costume designers. Like it makes you feel like you yourself are going insane. And I loved that. So it was such a good movie to the point where I watched it twice and like I loved it even more the second time. If you're feeling like watching something spooky, 
make sure you go and watch it. And in addition to that, I love the movie so much that I wanted to go ahead and read the book. And with the audiobook of I'm Thinking of Ending Things, whoever's narrating the book sounds like um, Jesse Buckley, the, the woman who plays Lucy. I love being able to read the book or listen to the book after watching the movie because I already have like an idea of what the characters look like. I also did this with Harry Potter. I watched all the movies first as a kid and then I read the books later. It's really cool because you already have a cast of people in your head. You already have like what everything is supposed to look like, like the sets and all of that. And it's almost just like the more you read the book, the more you're able to like get like these bonus features of like different things that weren't necessarily like on the actual movie. I would say that I also felt like reading the book made me understand the story a little bit more. Um, that and also I watched like a YouTube video to help explain <laughs> what the story was about and also just like confirm whether or not what I understood was right. So highly recommend the book and the movie of I'm Thinking of Ending Things. It's so freaking good. My final favorite for this month is the self-reflection edition of We're Not Really Strangers. And so I actually purchased quite a few of these for my friends for Christmas, but I also wanted to keep one for myself. I think especially because I'm like going through a time in my life where, you know, I'm trying to find myself during these like months before work. And so yes, like I can find prompts online and all of that, but there's something about We're Not Really Strangers. I feel like if you haven't checked out their brand, please, please, please do. They're known for their card game called We're Not Really Strangers. All of their different goods that they sell online, I love it. And so when I saw this, I was like, I think that this is for me. It's literally just a pack of cards. It uses this really lovely reflective paper and it's just a prompt. And I use these as journal prompts or I just like kind of think through it myself. There are questions like, what's the most exciting improvement I've been seeing in myself recently? There are cards are very thoughtful. It's not just some things that you can like get online where it's just like, I wanna improve on myself. What questions do I ask myself? I feel like they're very, the questions are curated so specifically to make you really, really stop and think and reflect. And so obviously that's the point. It's a self-reflection pack, but I feel like We're Not Really Strangers always does things very tastefully. I find that it's like very therapeutic answering these questions. I love just carrying these with me whenever I'm just like going to a park, going to a cafe, because it's just really thought provoking things that make you really want to do some head and heart work for yourself. And because these are cards, it's like a tangible way to be able to kind of see the progress as you go through the deck. I think in addition to this, I guess, the, this random favorite is the We're Not Really Strangers email list and like if I were to only subscribe to one single email list, it would be theirs. The the one that I got yesterday was just like, are you the problem? And then, <laughs> and then it's like you literally take a quiz and it like makes you reflect like, have I been like understanding other people's boundaries? Like it's just like the amount of effort and time that they go through. Seeing these um, email newsletters is just so, it makes me smile every time I forwarded these emails to so many of my friends. Go and sign up for their email list and also check out their website because We're Not Really Strangers is one of my favorite brands. That is it. Those are all of my favorites that I can think of right now. Knowing me, I'll probably think of something else that I forgot, but you know what? I am satisfied with this collection of things. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what books you recommend that I read and TV shows and movies that you recommend that I watch now with all this time that I have. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different from the other videos that I usually do with design diaries and follow me on Instagram and on TikTok make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and also feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn if you want to be professional connections. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video.